This video will introduce the idea of turning a decimal to a percent and vice versa. Please share the topic and date are at the top. I've used the topic connecting decimals and percents. The essential question that will guide this video is how do we convert between decimals and percents? One thing we need to remember is that a percent is a value out of 100. So if there are 42 people out of 100 people who said their favorite color is blue, we know that that would be 42 percent of the people who were polled. Decimals can be written as percents too. The trick is to simply think of how a decimal would be written as a fraction over 100. That represents the value of the number out of 100 and therefore represents the percent. 32 hundredths would be the same as the fraction 32 hundredths. And since that's out of 100, that would be 32 percent. Okay. 4 tenths, well that would be the same as 40 hundredths, which I can then write as 40 hundredths, and is then 40 percent. Sometimes we have values that are past the hundredths, such as 324 thousandths, right? We would write this fraction as 324 thousandths. And if we wanted to make that into hundredths, we would write this kind of weird thing. We'd write 300, sorry, 32 and 4 tenths over 100. Not that we would ever write a decimal in a fraction, but that would tell us that this would be 32 and 4 tenths percent. So sometimes we have a decimal in our percent. If you're looking carefully, you might have noticed something already about this process. The shortcut is that I noticed that to turn a decimal to a percent, I'm simply moving the decimal, right, the actual decimal point, to the right two times. That represents me multiplying my number times 100, which is what percent is out of, out of 100. So for example, 5 hundredths, I have my decimal point, I move it once, twice, that means the percent is 5%, because here's my decimal, my whole number is 5. I could have 52 hundredths, and again, I can move that decimal once, twice to signify multiplying by 100, and that would put my decimal right here at the end, it would be 52 percent. 983 thousandths, I would do the same thing once, twice. This time my decimal lands right in between the 8 and the 3, so it would be 98 and 3 tenths of a percent. Right? There's a fraction or a decimal in my percent, that's perfectly okay. I also sometimes might have something that's more than 100 percent. So if I have 1 and 64 hundredths, and I do my same process to signify multiplying by 100. My decimal lands right there, which makes this 164%, more than 100%. And since we are talking about converting between decimals and per percents, we'll make sure we can do it in the opposite direction. So this time, turning a percent into a decimal. This time, to turn a percent into a decimal, we go the opposite direction, we move the decimal to the left two times. This has the effect of dividing it by 100. We'll see what that looks like. 75% we know means 75 out of 100, because that's what percent means, and so that would be the fraction 75 hundredths, which can be written as 75 hundredths. You can also see that 75% Right. would have this decimal, right? It's implied that a whole number has a decimal here at the end. And if I move it to the left twice, right, to the left and to the left, right, we end up with 75 hundredths, which is what we know our equivalent decimal would be. 4 percent, right, would be 4 out of 100. 4 hundredths, so I would write that as 4 hundredths. But again, right? There's that implied decimal right here. I move it to the left and to the left again to place my decimal. Now I have this empty spot that I'll put my placeholder and you can see that I end up with my same answer of four hundredths. 
if I have 125%, right, more than 100%, here's my implied decimal. I'm going to move it once, twice. My equivalent decimal is 1 and 25 hundredths. And lastly, we have, let's say, 46.5%. If I move that decimal once, twice, right, this time it ends up with the decimal out front, 465 thousandths. Remember, the essential question was how to convert between decimals and percents. We saw how we can change a decimal to a percent and how to change a percent back to a decimal. As always, we'll have time to practice this together in class.